let us uh, see this poetry Uh, normally, you can go for this uh, cause con consequence analysis or common cause analysis or electromagnetic compatibility analysis. You can go for even pre analysis, ETA, you have FMEA, you have FMECA, which means failure mode effects and the critical analysis. Terms, terminologies are there, and you can also go for uh, sub analysis, modeling, root cause analysis, safety review. And you can tell in different, different uh, words. Software faulty analysis, software hazard analysis, or software sneak circuit analysis. You can you can, you can tell this in a different aspect. Um, uh, let us see. Uh, this is a simple faulty analysis for a potential loss of a steering SR. In, it, in, it includes a potential failure mode mode out of failure. Um, here it is related to the it is related to the controller. It's not related to, yeah, it is related to, to uh, initial level is related to the actuator failure and also it's related to the controller. You have one control controller one failure and also it is having the sensor failure. When you say sensor failure, you also need to understand the behavior of the sensor. When you say control failure, the behavior of the controller and the actuator failure at the behavior of the actuator. And here this potential failure modes would, would, would be identified and detailed uh, uh, things. Uh, when, you, when, 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 when you go for your analysis, you go for a get. So here again you see, uh, this is the modified one where you have the loss of steering, again you have the steering loss and uh, again the failure, you have controllers, you have different controllers, you have two controllers so again you are analyzing the interior controller failure and uh, similarly you are also analyzing the sensor failure so This is a modified version um, So when you, let, let us see how, how this logic works basically See, whatever is shown in the, in the fault rate drawing, it includes a potential failure and uh, it includes the controller sensors and actuators. And uh, these are been uh, linked together. Here you have uh, R gate to create a potential loss for a steering hazard. This fault tree model can contain uh, even non failure hazard to be, uh, to be considered so that that can also be taken uh, care during the development. Here, the, the particular interest comes uh, during uh, the, the software uh, development with respect to the controller, with respect to the actuator, with respect to the sensors. Uh, how the, the system behavior should stand against the different uh, working condition, different working condition of the vehicle, steering wheel, and uh, accordingly, how the driver can also vary accordingly. See here you have the controller uh, which is uh, helpful for you to reduce the likelihood that the system will fail due to the control failure, controller failure. If you have two controller one and two, uh, you should consider both uh, in case of any uh, occurrence or failure. You need to consider that for a hazard point of view as well. 